Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's DIY, I'm going to start out by making my first pumpkin, which is the glass pumpkin. And I'm going to use eight of these magnifying glasses to create my pumpkin. I might end up doing something with these as well, um, but we'll see. But first I want to do is just pop this out, just like that. So we're going to have eight of those. I'll also be using some polymer clay. I have this really large block, but it comes in smaller blocks as well. All right, so what I want to do is break off a piece, a nice size piece. Oh, and I have on gloves because my nails are a mess and I just don't even want to show them, but yeah. Um, maybe a piece about like this. I guess it's like a little bit smaller than a golf ball. All right, before I can start using the clay, I need to condition the clay. I rolled the clay into a ball and then pressed it down onto the flat surface making sure that I had a flat bottom and shaped it into more of a bell type shape. After I was done shaping the clay, I used the glass to make eight slots into the clay. Okay, so now I'm happy with how it looks. Now I need to bake this on 275. Each quarter inch of clay you need to bake for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna bake this for 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm back and this is how the clay looks once it's baked. Like I said, I baked it for 30 minutes. Now I'll take this outside and spray paint it silver and then I'll start gluing my magnifying glasses in place. Okay, as you can see, I spray painted the base of my pumpkin holder. Now I'll glue all eight pieces to my base with this Gorilla Glue along with some hot glue. After I put the magnifying glass into the slot, I held it in place until the hot glue set up. I repeated those steps seven more times. Now for extra support, I'm going to fill the center with hot glue and I'll also help hold my stem in place. Okay, so I'm going to let this set up for a few hours and then come back and move on to the next step. Okay, so I let this set up for about four hours and as you can see, the glass is still wiggly so I'm definitely going to let this set up overnight, but it's set up enough to where I can work on my stem. So I just took a small amount of clay and rolled it out like a snake and I made sure that it was larger on one end and when I was happy with how it looked, I took a card and pressed some lines into the stem. Once I had the shape that I liked, I baked it in the oven on 275 for 15 minutes. I took it out the oven, let the clay cool down, and spray painted the stem silver. Okay, so here's what the stem looks like painted silver. But before I glue it in place, 
I'm going to take some strips of bling wrap and high glue it to the rim of my magnifying glasses. Here I'm using some bling wrap from totallydazzled.com and I'll be sure to link it in the description box below. To get started, I put a thin line of high glue on the rim of the magnifying glass and then attach the bling wrap to it. Of course, I repeat this step on each magnifying glass. As you can see, I flipped the pumpkin over and continue to glue the bling wrap down onto the edge of the magnifying glasses. As you can see, adding the bling wrap made a really big difference. I really love how this is turning out. So now I'll go ahead and glue my stem in place. But before I do that, I'm going to use my hot glue gun to make an indentation in the hot glue that I previously put into that slot. And this will help hold the stem in place. Okay, just checking the stem before I glue it in and it works out. So now I use some Gorilla Glue along with some hot glue to glue it in place. I held the stem until the hot glue set up. Here I have two teardrop shaped chandelier pendants. One's a little bit larger than the other one and I'll be using these as leaves on my pumpkin. I placed the pendants on top of my pumpkin to decide where I wanted them to go and then I decided to use three instead of two. Once I was happy with placement, I glue them down with Gorilla Glue. To finish off my pumpkin, I mix some Mod Podge and glitter together and brush it onto the stem and the base to give it more bling. I'll finish brushing on my mixture off camera. I'll let that completely dry, come back and let you see the finished pumpkin. I must say that I'm absolutely in love, love, love with this pumpkin. It turned out even better than I pictured. Not only is it a beautiful display for fall, Halloween, and Thanksgiving, I think it'll be a beautiful pumpkin to display all year round. I got lucky and found some of the larger magnifying glasses, so I'm definitely going to make a second one to display with this one. I also have a second pumpkin that I designed for you as well and that will be coming up in the very next DIY. Also, if you're interested in the larger pumpkin seen in the video, I'll link it below in the description box. Okay everyone, I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I did, and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video up to 3,000 likes. I would really appreciate that.
please don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's absolutely free. Okay, everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.